Psalms 125, Song of Degrees. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abides forever. High place. Not a man-made high place. A, a high place made by God. Exact safety place where Noah and the ark land. I don't mean they landed on uh, Mount Z Zion, but they landed on Mount Ararat. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, and there's, it's a mountainous area, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth ever forever. So mountains are a type of God. That's why people go to the high places. You know, they figure that would be their way to get into the heavens. But it's not so. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Now all they that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. So you're, you're looking something over not just on this planet earth or this lifetime right now. You're looking at the millennium and you're looking at eternity. But right now the wicked will come upon the righteous. David did right and he still he was, he was beat. He was driven off by King Saul the wicked. So there's coming a time when we will get, we will get rest from the wicked. And notice again, the wicked, the rod of the wicked. You're looking at Jacob's trouble. You're looking at the Antichrist. When he's chained and put into the lake of fire for all eternity. He'll never touch Israel again. Satan will be bound for a thousand years. And after that, brought into hell. Least the righteous put forth their hands into, unto iniquity. You know, just drive them into doing wrong. Do good, O Lord, unto those that be good. And to them that are upright in their hearts. It's do unto others as others do unto you. You know, Lord, those that try to do right, Lord, treat them right. Meet out the, the wicked from the righteous. As for such as turn aside unto their crooked ways. All right, verse 4 is the righteous man, one that does good. Verse 5 is the wicked. The Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity. So the Lord leads them into iniquity because they don't want to do right. They go on the Broadway, and that Broadway leads to destruction. But peace shall be on, upon Israel. And Israel will get that peace, the millennial rest, the curse removed, and then they'll get the eternal rest in the new earth. But the wicked will not be so. They'll be in their iniquity. They'll be paying for their sins. You can say, yeah... You gotta be careful. You can say, I, I can pay from I'm gonna pay for my own sins. You will. If you don't trust in the Lord Jesus Christ today as your Savior, you will pay for your sins. You will pay for them in the heat of the flame as you try to uh, sterilize a needle in a flame. You'll be sterilized in, in hell, but you'll never get the perfection, the holiness that God is. That's how serious sin is. You can't pay for it. Only Christ can pay for it. And Israel will get the ultimate peace. Not the United Nations. Not America. Not England. Only Israel will get that peace. And that peace is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, their Messiah. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, 
how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God his Son not sparing, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in, that on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art. How great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When Christ shall come with shout of acclamation and take me home, what joy shall fill my heart Then I shall bow In humble adoration And there proclaim My God, how great Thou art Then sings my soul My Savior God to Thee How great Thou art How great Thou art then sings my soul, my Savior God, to 